Look, these guys just made a beeline over here, and I'm like, what are you looking at? A okay, guys, so we just finished filming here at uh, the Super Kmart. I got Richard and Kara back here with me, and we're about to take a walk through here and check out this mall. This is Ashtabula Town Square Mall. I actually grew up in Andover, Ohio, which isn't too far from here, but I honestly don't recall if I've ever been to this mall, and uh, there's not a lot going on here, so we're going to go incognito and uh, film a little bit, take a walk through. Okay, so these are the doors that we came in. This is right beside the old Super Kmart. And in my other video, we already showed this, but this is the entrance to the old Super Kmart. And uh, just to show you real quick here, if you look through the windows, you can still see what was the sales floor. But you can go to my other video and watch that. Now look at this, we got Joanne Fabrics over here with the old Joanne sign up there. That's pretty cool. And I'm not sure what this was, but it's vacant now. We're just gonna kind of take a walk through here. Fancy tutu. What is it? A fancy tutu. Oh. <laughs> Community room with a job fair today. Oh yeah, they got fish friends in there. This would be fun. <laughs> what is this here? Hmm. What what was it? Do you have any idea? What? Claire's. Oh, Claire's, okay. Ooh, yeah. Label scar on the Claire's thing here. Bye bye Claire's. There's JC Penney's. And this is funny, over here, this is a restore. I've never seen a restore in a mall. Restore is like a, a, resta a resale store, like Habitat for Community. Yeah, look at this. We got a open functioning Radio Shack here. That is pretty amazing. Yeah, look at that. Huh, that's pretty amazing. I don't know what this one here was. No label scars, but let's take a peek in. Radio Shack. Oh gosh. Hey, I wonder if this is going to become a Halloween store or something oh, because. No, but they do have Shack sitting around. Oh, crap. Yeah. I'll try to get that in a minute, but look at this. This scared the crap out of me. We got Jason standing over here. <laughs> see if we can get a good shot over here. Yeah, look. Jason standing there guarding the store. Holy <laughs> And oh, there's a giant... The sign. Huh? Yeah, he's, he's, he's guarding the Radio Shack sign. Look. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh my god. So I wonder if this was like a double Radio Shack, because we got this one here, and this looks almost exactly like it with the giant Radio Shack sign in there. Huh, that's weird. Radio Shack is back. Hmm. Look, we can get a better look at the sign from here. Look at that. Huh. Pretty amazing. These bling end things. Follow me to the food court. Yes, please. Dunham Sports. I've seen Dunham Sports in a lot of malls. Oh my god, guys, look. GNC. <laughs> That'll be the last thing to close in here. Here's something that's closed. Look, this truck is a cooler. I wouldn't pay $600 for it, but it's it's a cooler. I don't know what this was. Maybe there's a something identifying. 
or not. Buy, sell, trade. Usually these little stores pop up in these malls that are kind of dying and they're only open for a little bit at a time. What? Hmm, here's another buy, sell, trade. I wonder if it has anything to do with that one. Maybe that one's moving over here or something. But look, they got CDs and DVDs and all kinds of stuff in here. That place is pretty huge, actually. Dang. Look, guys, they got VHS tapes for sale on this one. Jurassic Park. Yes. Let the T-Rex loose. Here's another something closed over here. I don't know what this was either. Okay, so Richard just pointed out that this is this was K Jewelers. You can see the K up there under the cardboard. Look at this big wide open area here. Okay, we got Bath and Body Works over here. But this actually reminds me of uh, Carnation Mall in alliance with this big open middle area here. I'm pretty sure this is a little bit bigger. But it's... Look at this, guys. Look at this giant skylight and this lighting that goes down the corridor. It's down this way, too, where we came from. I didn't even recognize it. I didn't even realize I didn't see it. But that looks really cool. Look at that skylight up there. It's huge. Makes me wonder if there was like a fountain or something here at one point, which I don't think so. Because this carpet looks original. And it looks old. But I bet you they used to have like a stage or something set up here where they used to have things going on. Sports cards and collectibles. BB's gifts. AMC theaters down this way. There's the food court over there. We'll have to check that out in a minute. Here's another closed store. Prob probably used to be a clothing store. National retail outlet. Look, these guys just made a beeline over here and I'm like, what are you looking at? A red Ames cart. Red Ames. <laughs> he knows what I was doing when I was starting making that noise. <laughs> These guys about started having orgasms in the mall. <laughs> Molly. That's pretty amazing. A red Ames cart. There's baskets, but I don't think those are anything specific. But let's take another look at that. That is cool. Look at that. Yeah, this is what you see a lot of times in the malls that don't get a whole lot of uh, traffic. Hours that are just on the weekends. So this store is like barely ever open. You'll have to come down here between the hours of 10 and 6 on Friday to try to get the Ames cart. <laughs> this was probably a uh, another jewelry store here on the corner. Here's another open, I mean, open, yeah. Here's another empty store right here. Let's take a look in there. Hmm. I don't know why my phone is having such a hard time focusing right now, but... And of course, right beside that is another empty store. Take a look in here. Yep, just empty shelves everywhere. Hmm. <laughs> the curiosity shop. Here's another empty one. 
No label scars on any of these, though. I mean, so if you don't already know what these are, then you just don't know what they are. Santa's Reef or Santa's Workshop went out. What, here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this one's full of Christmas stuff. Look at that. Hmm. I'll be pulling it out here in no time. Curiosity shop, probably just odds and ends of stuff. Carpet, furniture, DVDs. They even got VHS tapes in there. This one also says community room. There's a tow motor in that one. Look at the big mural over here, that's pretty cool. Another little empty thing right here. GNC, this, what? We already saw a GNC. I wonder if that just is an ad for GNC. Although this does look like a typical GNC. We got a Master Cuts in business. Ooh, this is just big wide open. Looks like they got a little, oh, I thought it was a bar. I thought they had a bar set up there. It's probably just another clothing shop. Shoe department. Man, there are a lot, a lot of empty stores in this mall. Look at this entertainment zone. They got a big screen where they project movies. This is kind of cool. I like to see this kind of stuff. How do you get the movie on? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look, you got these seats you can just kick back and somehow put on a movie, if anyone knew how. All right, let's keep rolling here. Ooh, yeah, Big Dog Bounce. This is a big one here. Hmm. Yeah, look how big that store is. Whatever it was. Oh, wait. I guess not. I thought you could kind of see up there, but that's just a piece of black wood over top of whatever it was. I'm liking the looks of this place, though. Big Dog Bounce. I don't know what it is, if it has anything to do with the Big Dog Bounce, but there is definitely a musty smell in here, like moisture has got to something in here. Unless it's just whatever they're using to clean up in here. I gotta take a peek in here. Okay guys, yes, wait a minute. What's okay guys, yeah, a little. Okay guys, yeah, so I wanted to step in here and check out the Big Dog Bounce. All these are still deflated right here, but they just opened. Do you mind being on a YouTube video? Okay. This one right here is inflated right now. That's what I was smelling out in the hallway. She said it got rained on recently. But basically, it's an awesome price to come in here. She said it's nine bucks per kid to come in here. And like today, they're open two to seven. Kids can play the whole time for nine bucks. Totally awesome. I'm tempted to do it myself. Here are their hours. If you happen to be from the area, you've got to come down here and check that out. I cannot believe that awesome price to let your kids play all day long. And I bet you anything, hold on, let me ask. Okay, let me ask here. Can the adults get on this stuff too? Um, we have certain days where um, we live. Okay, so yeah, there, there are certain stipulations, like certain times and, you, and uh, things like that, but she said that adults can get on that stuff too. So that would be fun. What in the world is this? National. This is what I just saw here. National retail outlet, liquidation, wholesale, closeouts. But look at this, this is huge. This is absolutely enormous in there. Okay, what were you saying about that? That smell. Oh, yeah. So guys, this is actually where the smell is coming from. Look at how huge that is. I just wonder what this used to be. 
looks like it used to be an anchor of some sort. Yeah, that, that's an enormous warehouse back there too. Huh. Yeah, look at this. It, it's this entire thing here, this whole, I almost want to call it a corner, but it doesn't go all the way over there. Well, maybe it does. That's huge. Couple more empty ones over here. University hospitals on the end. I've never seen that in a mall. I wonder what this one is here though, or was. Oh. Leadership? Oh, must just be like the mall offices or something there. Hmm. I love these lights though. Look at that. That's really cool. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what this one said here. I'm probably walking in front of Richard. <laughs> I have a bad habit of that. <laughs> this is one of the only label scars they don't have covered up in here. Hmm. I don't know, let's look inside. see anything in here that's no, identifying. Looks like more like a pet store. Yeah, they got these yeah, all cleaned out awesome. pretty good. What the heck is that? Yeah. It might have been a pet store. All right, guys, tell me what you see on there. Look at us, I'm sweating like a hog, guys. Um, anyways, so Kara pointed out she thought this was a, a pet store. And I'm pretty sure she is right because look at this. Yeah, look at this. This is basically like a little cage where they'd put the animals in like the puppies and stuff so you could see them when you're walking down. And this here appears to be where they would hang the water bottle. So I bet that's right. I bet that was totally a pet store. I just wish we could make out that, that label scar. Hmm. We were just talking about this over here, the glass enclosure. And uh, that's probably where they had some pets in there, in like cages, you know, cats and dogs and whatnot. I don't even know if it's a, if it's legal to have dogs in pet stores anymore nowadays. But I mean, no offense to anybody who's from the area who has an attachment to this mall. I love malls. I absolutely do. But it's no secret that doll malls that dolls that malls are dying all over the place. This is a Wednesday afternoon, so I would hesitate to call this a dead mall if there weren't so many empty stores in here. But it's like two out of every three or even more, probably, man, it's probably even more than that. And just standing in this one area, like I can count one, there was two, three, four, five, and then we got six, seven, eight, nine and that's just in one in this one wing I, i've never seen anything like this where there's just like a big store in the middle but whatever it was it's closed anyway maybe it was multiple things but here's the food court here mm, god it smells good i smell cookies guys how delicious oh my god curse you low carbs <laughs> look at this I bet you anything that's peanut butter, like Reese's. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh my god. How dare you. Look at this, guys. I wonder if this was like a Severo's pizza or something. That looks like the colors. I like the looks of the food court. There's just not much food. This looks like a restaurant on the side here that's open. And what is over here? Oh, we got the arcade over here. Yeah, I don't know what the restaurant is. I don't see a name. But here's the arcade. Hey, here's a little fountain. That's pretty cute. 
Oh my God, there's koi's in there. I don't know if those are koi's actually. I just said that because it sounded cool. But there's <laughs> big fish in there. Okay, zoom in. Look at that. And I don't have any pennies to throw in. Oh, okay. Please do not throw anything or anyone in the fish pond. <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. That's pretty cool though. I, I honestly don't think I have ever seen fish in a pond at them all. That is really cool. I love this place. Okay, here's the arcade. Let's just go in and take a peek. We got the typical boxer machine here. Let's see what kind of games we got. Ooh, Candy Crane is out of order. Hey, look! Smack the alien, like from Toy Story. <laughs> That's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I don't think it's on though. Ski ball. You gotta have ski ball in the arcade. And just a couple of prize games. Ooh, kicker. That is definitely my favorite though. The aliens pop up out of the stomach. Guys, look at this. I didn't even see the neon up here. It's not on, but it's still cool. Win prizes. There's a little bit more over here. That is awesome. I would love to see that lit up. That would be so cool. Look at this, guys. Some of these games are set on free play. I noticed a sign when we first walked in here and it said, come play free. And I don't see that on a whole lot of them, but Rich Richard's kicking some butt on Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah. and, I, and he did point out to me uh, another one over here, Speed Racer, where you sit down and play. Ooh, look how blurry it is, though. Ooh, and a cracked screen. What the heck was somebody doing in here? Dang. Oh my god, guys, check this out. We got this love tester over here. And Richard was just trying it, but let me try this again. Okay, yeah, you put your hand on here. It was talking to me a minute ago. Now it's not saying anything. All right, let's try it. I wonder why it's not saying anything now. Weird. When I touched it the first time, this real sexy l lady voice came on and said something like, have you had a check out lately, hot stuff? <laughs> okay, so that's the arcade. Yeah, yeah. See, well, what I was thinking was, I wonder if, like, I'm sure this was the original arcade in here because of the neon. Because they wouldn't, like, replace Neon, and nobody's putting Neon in a new arcade. But, uh, but yeah, prizes would have been over there, and this was probably a desk here, too, with, with prizes behind it, I would assume. Okay, let's make our way over here a minute. This is kind of cool. Look at this little sitting area here with these lights. That's kind of cool. I don't know what this was, but look, yeah, this is empty. There's a label scar up there, but I just don't know. I don't know this mole personally. This one's closed too. Whenever I see anything like this, it makes me think of like the pizza stores, the pizza shops. Grind Town. Apparently this one's only open certain times, but it looks like they got some good stuff up there. Loaded waffle fries, holy crap. Ah. Uh, Curse you, low carbs. <laughs> That's the food court, guys. And that brings us back out to the big middle of the mall here. But before we go, we're going to go over here and check out this AMC theater. I'm not even sure if they're still open. I'm going to try my best to not get in front of Richard anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. BB's gifts. I need to bring the bee in here to choose something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... They're not open at the moment, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're not open. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Doors open approximately 30 minutes before the first show. What is the first show? Okay, here we go. AMC Ashtabula 6, Sunday through Thursday, Friday through Saturday. So they're open every day. Matinees before 5.30. Hmm. I need some stale popcorn from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Discount popcorn. Yeah, first movie is at 4. What's that say? 4.10, 4.20, 4 o'clock. It is new movies, so they are open. They're just not open right now. Oh, look over there. Food. Tony Robbins hungry. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think we've gone through the entire place. Ashtabula Town Square Mall. And uh, we're going to move on now. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Make sure you hop on over to Richard's channel and check his out. Because he went different directions for me. And you can see how many times I step in front of his camera. <laughs> I'll return the favor someday. <laughs> where, where, where are you? Oh. <laughs> there you are. So, shorter than me, so she's like totally hidden behind me. <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. You only see my hands. <laughs>